So before we read everyone else's questions, I actually have some questions myself for mm -hmm. you. Is it possible to get the flu and COVID at the same time? Yes. Wow, I've never heard of someone doing that but, before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. I, for some reason, I assume that if you get the flu, then you just, you're with the flu and you can't get COVID. If you have no. COVID, you're not gonna get the flu. Well, because there are different viruses. Is would that be super troublesome to get both at the same time? Uh, well, depending on the immune system. If your immune system can handle it, then yeah. it, it's, it's, it's not going to bother you so much. Lalo na kung mataas naman yung antibodies mo. You, you, can, you can even dodge it off. But if you have comorbidities, if you have, uh, if you have other diseases that's plaguing your body, that could be a problem. So best tip is to strengthen your immune system. Since the start of the community quarantine last March, we've seen the effects of COVID-19 on our mental in a very stressful time. And many of us are worried about getting sick. And some of us are concerned about our jobs, our businesses, and there are many, many reasons. The coronavirus outbreak is triggering anxiety and fear. There are also some people who have existing mental health conditions, and that's even harder. Uh, this is good. What alternatives can we take for antidepressants and anxiety meds that are natural? That's interesting because I, I mean, I've never dealt mm -hmm. with depression or like chronic anxiety or anything, mm -hmm. but I would be that person that would not want to take mm -hmm. meds for it because yeah, I'm me all too. like natural and everything, yeah. right? So I would uh -huh. like double down on meditation. Mm -hmm. I would do nature walks. I mm -hmm. would do everything I can to not have to take mm -hmm. medication. Yeah, actually, you need it. Uh, you, you need, need it. it. Yeah, you That's need it. it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Because depression is a problem when you have a poor chemical signaling inside mm -hmm. your body, inside your mind. Yeah. So the neurotransmitters go down. The so-called happy hormones, they go down. Mm -hmm. So it's a chemical thing inside your body, and it's organic. So how do you counteract that? So you have to ramp up the, the, the happy hormones. Do your meditation, you do your exercise. If you want to eat healthier, you eat your vegetables, you eat your tomatoes, you eat your olives. Because all of these are, uh, are needed for the body to promote the production of your dopamine, your uh, endorphins, your serotonin, and your oxytocin. And if you took down the notes on dopamine, oxytocin, endorphins, and serotonin, it's the, uh, your, 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 your neurotransmitters are a mnemonic for DOS. So it does the magic. <laughs> mm. So how do you do that? So you eat more of your whole foods because you need vitamin C, you need vitamin E, you need iron, you need selenium, you need zinc as cofactors and even magnesium as cofactors for you to produce these hormones. And plus you do your meditation, you do your exercise, you do your nature walk. Yeah, yeah, in Japan, mm. you know, in Japan, yeah, it's part of the like yes, the, the treatment. Yeah, the treatment, treatment. in and Japan, the, yeah. they do nature therapy. Nature, yeah where the doctor guides mm. them in nature mm -hmm. and the statistics on that, mm -hmm. it's super good of, yeah. of how, how, uh, how much it works. In the Philippines, uh, to, uh, to relate it into, into, the, into the Philippine market, yeah. we lifestyle medicine doctors, we do what we call as walk with a dog. So you walk with me, <laughs> you walk with me with the to the nature. It's not yet as, uh, as rampant as before or as, uh, as used as in the States because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Yeah. So we cannot walk, but it can be used. So in Japan, you can use them because they have a lot of nature. Here in the Philippines, if we live in the city, it's tough, it's to, tough, yeah, to, it's do tough to get to mm -hmm. nature. That's but true. if we live in the, uh, in the province, we can do that. Naman. That's a really cool yeah. concept. It is. A, it is um, a cool I, concept. Just, I just realized since we're on that topic where you said eating healthy mm -hmm. can also kind of prevent anxiety and mm -hmm. depression and everything. I forget if I watched documentary or if, mm -hmm. or if I read an article on it, but there's a very famous study where they had all these prisoners. Mm -hmm. Like in the US, mm -hmm. prisoners just have the worst diet ever. Mm -hmm. And then they took a group of prisoners and they fed them a healthy diet mm -hmm. over a span of a few months. Mm -hmm. And like their depression, their anxiety, mm -hmm. and there's just their overall moods. Mm -hmm. improved yeah vastly mm -hmm. so it's a I, healthy diet everyone <laughs> yeah yeah health um i mean nutrition can can really mitigate mm -hmm. you know negative feelings yep it will
If you liked what you saw and you want to listen to the full episode, then download Spotify and follow us at Superhuman with Will Dasevich. It's completely free, it's linked below and easy to use.